I'm going to give you five hacks that will help you cut and dry your wood slices. It'll save you money and with a little bit of luck, yours will not check and split. Hack number one. Cut them in the winter. <laughs> with a bit more energy and a bit more. Cut so them in the winter. <laughs> cut them in the winter. Just say it. Cut the trees in the winter so the sap's not under the bark. So it's the bark tight to the tree. Thank you. And after the spring comes, the sap goes back under the bark and makes it loose so it'll fall off. Hack number two. If you want to dry them, you got to sticker them. You got to put them in a cool place or they're going to crack. And even then, they'll probably, some of them will still crack. And then after maybe a month or two, you can put them in a little, with a little bit of heat. But after that, you got to watch. And you don't put them in a kiln because they'll come, they'll come out of a kiln crack too. You have to go, you have to let them dry slowly. Mm -hmm. nice. The wind will dry them, the warm spring winds will dry them quick and the sun will dry them and then they'll go too fast and you'll get So a, they have to go slow. You have to go, you have to let them dry slowly. Put it yeah. in a closet or a basement or a, or a garage or something or a tool shed. Somewhere out of the wind, out of the sun. And so you don't want them in a heated place, you want you them sure in a cold? Don't. You sure as hell don't. You want them in a cool place. And then after maybe a month or two, you can put them in a little, with a little bit of heat, but after that. Do you lean it against the wall and let the air, air as circulate? Long as, not, as long as they're not touching. If they're touching, they'll get mold on it in the warm weather. You won't get it in the winter, but you'll get it in, as soon as the weather turns warm. If you put them together, they'll get mold in about a week. I see people at the market after, and I ask them, you know, they didn't, no, it didn't crack. And other people say, yeah, they've got a little crack, so they don't care. So yeah. what it, what happens if they do crack? They crack. You have to fix them up with epoxy or you live with the crack. Yeah. Okay, and make sure you're looking at the camera, I'm looking, right? I'm looking at the camera. You're looking over here right. or down. You look shifty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You look shifty. Yeah. <laughs> Why do ovals crack? Because it dries too quickly. And you have two planes of wood here that are fighting against each other. Along the growth ring dries twice as fast as against the growth ring. This is an example of what happens. This is checked because we brought it into the warm heat in our workshop. So here, let's say this is your growth ring. And I'm just going to snip it. Where this where this dried twice as fast will now crack. Half number 3. And then what about cutting them on an oval? You've had good luck cutting them on a, with an on an oval. You cut them on an oval if that's what they want, but there's less chance of them cracking on an oval because there's more green splatter, I guess. I don't know why, but they won't crack near as bad as an oval, but they still will crack if you try and brush them. Hack number four. What do you use the hydraulic jack for? To tight, to tight, hold it tight. I screw it in there with a three inch screw, okay. cut the blank with a chainsaw, the angle on both sides, you lay it on a board, you put a three inch screw into the two by six to hold it tight. If you use a shorter screw, it'll probably come loose. And then you can only go down on your sawmill to three and a half inches or you're gonna hit that screw and it'll bugger your blade. I did a one for a dumb that came here with some and he, he put a he put a three and a half inch screw in it and didn't tell me. So I hit it. I went down a little last to three and a half and it hit it. Ouch. And, and what happened to the blade exactly? Well, it bars it up and never cuts true after that. Well, some you can resharpen it sometime, but you got to knock the set out of it too, and it's right. just not... I don't, like, I don't like the zing sound, no. but I'm deaf and I can still hear it. I <laughs> like that zing. I don't, like, I don't like the zing sound, no. but I'm deaf and I can still hear it. <laughs> then there will be some swearing going on. Just go slow with the mill and feather it. Nobody knows what feathered means. Feather the throttle. Just feather. Say feather. You, have to, you have to go slow and you have to make sure the motor's not overworked and you gotta know it's cutting or you'll, you can tell if it's not cutting. The blade will start to pull or the motor will slow down or anything like that. Yeah. You have to get a feel for it. Mm -hmm. Feather the speed, I don't know, just let, don't let it go too fast or it'll wave and pull the blade and huh. stall the motor or whatever. Hack number five. So, so do you, you cut them straight across sometimes? Mm -hmm. I don't like doing that, but people want them for uh -huh. that because they want a plate to sit on it. Right. But yeah. I, the only one they'll do them is pop because everything else will crack and guaranteed it'll be cracked in a week wow. in the summer. Every, every one, every species. I mean, old boys told me that popper doesn't crack. I've been telling them that for years, so I listened to them and they're right.
So wait, so why is it that poplar doesn't? Is it I just... don't know. I, I Google it and I can't find why. I just I. What kind of poplar? I don't know. There's about 25 different species of poplar. I use bomb, <laughs> museum poplar, bomb. double poplar, or green poplar, but I don't know what this actual yeah. species are. But I don't know. It's heavy and it's full of water and it's hmm. something to do with the green. So, I guess. I don't... Size matters. The smaller, like 4x4 four four to 4x12s, four you have a better luck at drying those without them cracking than a larger slice. I hope you try these hacks and they save you some money. Before you go out and buy some expensive end sealer or pentacryl, give these hacks a try. If you have any hacks or you're going to try any of these, leave a comment down below and let me know. Are these hacks foolproof? Uh, no. You need a little bit of luck, a little bit of strategy, and hopefully it just might increase the odds of your wood cookies not cracking. Good luck. Love you. Bye. Are you licking it? Yeah. That's poison, you know. Did you see me? Yeah. Yes. Can you say that? I just said that. You, you said well, you it. just, you say, just it. say it. Say it with a bit more you energy. You cut it when the, when the sap's back down the ground. The no, no, so. wait. Oh, yeah, right. You're being like... Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Pretend you're saying it to Brooke. Brooke's a forester. She'd know that. She doesn't know it. Okay. So look right at the camera and say it. Cut them in the winter. <laughs> with a bit more energy and a bit more... Cut so, them in the winter. See? Well, I didn't know Talk that. to Adrian. What? Do you really care, though? <laughs> no. He, he doesn't know that. You don't care. <laughs> that, this is the attitude I want. This, I love this. Yeah, I know you love it.